This is my world. Harsh, jagged, freezing. And I gotta say, it's awesome. It's got everything. Ice, rocks, ice, snow, ice. It's got a lot of ice. Plenty of modern amenities. And the best part, everyone's happy. That's because our world is built on a foundation of stones. Not those, these. See, we have these laws that are written in stone. Literally written in stone. Interpreted and enforced by the Stone Keeper. The stones are here to protect us and keep us safe. They pretty much tell us everything that we need to know. Important stuff, like how the world was created when we all fell from the butt of the great sky yak. And how our world is in our... Oh, thank you. Come on, everyone. It didn't seem all that scary. It was kind of cute. Everyone, make way for my dad. Ugh, I mean the Stonekeeper. Sorry, Dad. I mean, Stonekeeper. Come on, come on, be blue. Good morning, everyone. Hey, how are you? Oh, boy. Is this about me go missing the gong? Stonekeeper, he, he saw a small foot. I'd still be out there. He said it fell from the sky. Gary, calm down. You know how you get. Okay, I'll try, but I'm just so scared. Now, I know Migo has gotten you all very anxious with his little story, but there's nothing to fear because it isn't true. But I, I saw one. No, you didn't. I, I did. You can't have seen it because it doesn't exist. I know, I know. Because the stone says there's no such thing as a small foot. Yep, right there. Clear as day. I know, but it was right there in front of me. Hey, Migo, how did you know it was a small foot? Because it had a small foot. Uh, Dad? <sighs> Daddy, clearly he saw something. Oh, I'm not denying he saw something. Most likely he slipped, hit his head, got confused, and saw a yak. Oh, okay, I get it now. What? Brenda, do you know what this village is famous for? Yetis. More reported yeti sightings here than anywhere else on the planet. So? Picture this. We're here looking for the Himalayan jumping spider, but we capture on film a yeti. We post the video, it goes viral, then boom, my ratings skyrocket. Yetis don't exist. Or do they? Picked up a suit in town this afternoon, and it's a cracker. Has stilts and everything. You're gonna put that thing on and deceive your fans? <laughs> of course not. I'll be on camera. You'll be in the suit. Wow. What has happened to you? Where's the Percy Patterson who loved animals? Who inspired me to love them? Who had integrity? I have integrity. Mm. Okay, yes, I've got to do one thing without integrity, and then I'll just be all integrity all the time. I will ooze integrity. I shall bathe in it. I will have a sports drink called integrity that I will endorse, not for free, but I will take that money and give it to charity. That's how much integrity I will have. <sighs> Brenda, please, nobody's watching my show. You want to save a species on the verge of extinction? Save me. Brenda. Yo, really nervous. This one goes out to my girlfriend. Brenda, wait. Brenda? Percy? Ah! Percy, you're alive. Oh. You're alive. Oh. oh my gosh, you are alive, aren't you? Not dead, raring to go. No, Something bigger than us. My video. I uploaded it like you told me to, and it went totally viral. It was real, right? I mean, I have the suit. You found a Yeti. My phone has been ringing like crazy. Everyone wants you. Haven't you checked your messages? Percy, my favorite client. It's your agent. I want you back. Call this is Mark Bird from the National Geographic Society. Call. Percy, it's your dad. <laughs> I'm no longer ashamed of you. Percy, it's Gail at the network. I saw your video. If you can get that Yeti alive, you and your show are saved. <gasps> this is everything you wanted. Miji, we're here. It's okay. <gasps> Thank you. Actually, it's not okay. We're in the worst place ever, but we're together. Yes. Yay. Wait, where's Fleem? Ah, <sighs> pros 10, con 65. Oh, this is torture. Fleem is pathetic. Yeah. Are you hurt? I'm okay, but why did they just turn on me like that? Because they're terrible creatures. You, why are you here? You're angry. You think? 
Michi, I'm so, so sorry, but believe me, I said what I said to protect you. Protect me? By lying? She's got a point there, Migo. Haven't you been lying to your dad? Secret leader of the SES? He's got a point there, Meech. This is completely different. Besides, what did you think you were protecting me from anyway? From that. This is what your dad showed me. This is why I lied. They are monsters. No, they think we're monsters. Guys, guys, psst, they're getting closer. They're gonna find us. What are we gonna do? We gotta go, now. Are they really all bad? I don't know, but we can't wait around here to find out. <laughs>